Now to use the tracker, you plug in your lead that comes with it for your video out and audio out, which plugs directly in the side. You connect your monitor or goggles to these connectors here. Once your goggles are connected, we just plug it in to a 12 volt power supply and there it is initializing now it comes up with this screen here basically if I use this button here I can scroll through to select my channel now if I press across it will go into channel now I can either set my channel or I can scan for the channel or I can browse and go through the channels and then select one I usually just go to set and I've set it here if I go into that press down that goes into it I have it set to channel 41. Up will take you through the different bands and left or right will take you through the different channels. Channel 41 is 5740 which is channel 1 on motion immersion RC transmitters. Um, if I want to set it to that I basically just press it in and see this, it's now setting goes back to run. The tracker is just idle and will be picking up and sending any signal that you're transmitting on that channel from your vehicle but it is not tracking until you press the run button now it is tracking I have no vehicle on and so it's not tracking at the moment anything but that's how simple it is to get you get it to track your vehicle you just need to take your vehicle out in front of it maybe cover up the antenna so it gives you know weakens the signal a bit and then walk around until it finds it and once it's found it that's it it's locked on and it will stay on that channel brilliant Okay, let's have a look around. Power supply, battery, connection for power for your goggles if you wish. I power my goggles directly off the battery, but you can plug them in here, and this is your connection cable that comes with it.